Hey guys, today's uh, November 25th, Friday of 2022, and I want to do a quick update on Nifty 50. I forgot to include it on my uh, market recap, so I know some have been asking me, uh, give me an update, let me know what's going on. So far, listen, listen the trend is up. This uh, weekly cycle that I have going down, uh, Nifty 50 is ignoring it, so if you're a bull, just hang in there. This is a Hekinashi candle, so the trend is your friend it's uh pushing higher it looks like it wants and it uh closed oh it's chopping around 1835 this is uh 18 and it's chopping around there trying to push higher uh let's look at the uh, weekly candle sometimes these candles throw you off oh yeah way higher it's a uh, 1851 so it blew right through here, hitting stops and uh, going higher. So your target is that high. <clears throat> That's going to test the uh, 1860, ET6004. Uh, and the trend is up. So that's why I put the Hekanashi, because it just kind of keeps you, you know, just raising your stop. So you can see that it's going up while the weekly cycles are going down. So you see that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But every time I, I see this, it's just a precaution. Hey, you know, just be careful because it, it, this could play out like Netflix. I don't know if you see my Netflix video where um, the weekly cycles were down and Netflix just kept pushing higher and pushing higher. And then all of a sudden, like somebody pulled the rug out and it went boom. It just slammed it right down. So I don't want you guys to go, you know, if, if a Netflix move were to play here. And then also you got to consider seasonalities and all this other stuff and, you know, other techniques. But so far, you know, it's pushing along higher. And the uh, MACD is positive. I had a couple of days here for possible turning points and it just totally ignored it. So I would uh, tr uh, con continue, you know, just just raising your stops and just, you know, buying pullbacks on dips unless you know a big you know bear candle shows up but so far it's looking good see it just kind of pulls back and then buyers come in using the hekanashi from this low you only had like one two three couple of you know negative candles uh when you put the uh, regular candle you see that it's just you can't really see the trend as easy with the hekanashi you had a MACD cross over here, and it kind of uh, did a pullback, and then more buyers came. So you closed above the trend, uh, this uh, swing pivot high, and you can see the trend line. You're in the uh, supply zone, and you're gonna looks like you're gonna test that high, 1806, and maybe push higher. Now, if you remember seeing my last videos on Nifty Fifty, this couple of projection tar targets I have. Uh, on the top, you just got to look at those videos for, a, for a, I believe, a wave five up on the top. So if we close above there, the possibilities of it, you know, hitting those targets uh, starts increasing. Just got to be cautious that this uh, wave is not sleeping on Nifty 50, and then it's going to drag it and pull it right back down. So those are the things that I'm just kind of watching. And for your information, I don't trade the Nifty 50. I just do it just because I have a lot, a lot of... Uh, traders from india that uh subscribe to my channel and uh they look that for for some reason they like what i have on my channels but i have a heavy base of uh traders from india so i figured i give them some love and show them you know one of their instruments that they trade so that's that's the only thing just keep you know trailing your stop uh but this looks like a potential target once it gets there then you got to see what's going to happen it's going to be a failed new high where it just stalls and goes down, or is it going to go up? Well, I'm going to sign out. Hope you liked this video, and I'll keep you posted on the Nifty 50.